Hello and welcome to the Cow's Den podcast. I am Josh. With me, as always, is Matt. What's up, Matt? What's up, bitches? We are the Cow's Den. It is episode 36 <clears throat> of the motherfucking podcast. What's up, dude? We had to take a bit of a uh, hiatus here for a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, so, so yeah, yeah, we're on a bit of a break. That's mostly due to the fact that I got a new job that uh having a lot of fun in. Can do more <laughs> on that later. Um, but yeah, man, yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. We had a lot of it stuff has been a minute, about. man. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff's been happening. Oh my gosh. I mean, lots of what we're gonna talk about is like if you've been living under a rock, it'd be the only way you haven't seen it, you know what I mean? But yeah. uh yeah, man, I'll go. I actually am gonna skip kind of the comics and stuff this time, just because there's so many movies and shows and shit. So I figure I'm yeah. just gonna cover <laughs> some of the comics and stuff later. Uh, I'm gonna start with Star Wars with the uh, Obi One. Uh, man, I was gonna cover this like episode by episode. We ended up. I mean, it's done now. So um, it kind of. I think that's my only complaint is that it kind of came and went. It was six episodes, I think, six episodes, and it just kind of felt like it. Like came and went. Um, that said, I mean it was good. Uh, Ewan, of course, killed it. Hayden killed it. Um, like the final fight between the two was epic. Uh, I do think the show, like as a whole, the season as a whole, I don't know what it is. It just felt like it could have been a little bit better. Like it felt like it was a little. I mean, we we I think we talked about it. It kind of went a little too hard on uh, baby, like baby Leia. Um, yeah, which yeah. I mean. I guess that's fine. That's something they wanted to go with, but um, I do feel like it kind of leaned on her a little too much. But it, I mean, it was still good. It was still enjoyable. I, I give it an eight out of ten. I thought it was still something that uh, I didn't feel like was a waste of time. It was. It was uh, didn't contribute a whole lot to the actual lore, but it was. It was still there. It was fun. It was enjoyable, and it was kind of did what it well. Meant. Well, and it's unfortunately it's surrounded by shows that just blew everything. That's apart that was one summer, of the things I was know? talking about with somebody else too. Yeah, um, was, was that yeah? There's just it was so many other just amazing things coming out that it's it's been hard to compete lately. It's been rough, but still, I mean, did you, did you enjoy it? Do you like it? So I'll be honest, I haven't finished it yet. Oh shoot! Um, okay. I'm only a couple episodes in because of uh, just busy with life, Stuff, but then yeah, everything else, you know, it's just stranger things, uh, right. you know, That's the boys. Talk about so, next. You know, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. A lot of yeah. stuff going on. Uh, so actually what I would do is I was watching Obi-Wan and then I would roll that into uh, Miss Marvel uh, on Disney plus. And I actually have been surprisingly enjoying Miss Marvel. I thought it was, was good. I mean, I kind of was, hyped for it anyway because i like when marvel takes their like lighter approach sometimes i like uh i don't get me wrong i love the darkness in dc but every now and then i do like more kind of a lighter hearted more upbeat kind of story from marvel and i feel like that's kind of been what they're nailing with miss marvel it's been just kind of a coming of age um light-hearted like i said light-hearted upbeat kind of story and it's been fun to watch I've actually been enjoying it quite a bit. It doesn't like, doesn't overdo it. it doesn't feel like it's too intense. It doesn't feel like it's too much. Um, doesn't take itself too seriously, I guess. That's what I'm trying to get at. But at the same time, it's great because it's Marvel's finally getting into this more representation everywhere, which is really cool. You know, like it's, I do feel like in watching it, I get a, a, a big sense of like the culture and all that, which is really cool. So I definitely recommend it. It's on Disney Plus. It's it's worth checking out, and it's like PG kind of rated, so it's definitely good for the kids too. Um, yeah, I, I that's another one that I've heard great things about. Just haven't had a chance to check it out. I, I mean, it, if you if you're like one of those comic nitpickies, there's some things like her origin story. They changed some stuff, but like I don't care. You know, I think it's been fun enough that it's it's been enjoyable. So didn't bother me at all uh yeah so then i'm gonna talk about dr strange multiverse of madness Mm. to me ended up feeling like exactly like uh star wars obi-wan in the essence of it felt like there was all these amazing things coming out around it so that when it came out and when i finally saw it 
I, I felt like it was a bit of a letdown. That's just my opinion on it. Uh, no, yeah. and I see that. Um, you know, I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I, is it the, the best Marvel movie? No. Uh, I still think Quan, what, what it's um, The Seven Rings. Uh, I keep wanting to say Quan Chi. Uh, Shang, oh, Shang uh, Chi. Shang Chi. Yeah, yeah. Shang Chi and the Ten Rings. Yes. Yeah. Um, I still think that's the better one post. Um, like post uh, Infinity War. Uh, Infinity Avengers War or uh, Endgame. Yeah, in game. Um, uh, well, obviously, Spider Man number one, but right. you know, I, I don't really count that as too That's much. It's like in MCU. a league of its own. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I felt like it hit, the, it, it, it missed the mark on some things, but I felt like, I felt like Wanda was pretty good, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I know that you didn't care for them. I love the fact that they <laughs> killed so many people. I and see, loved it. And see, so like, I think I think to me that was the the big complaint was like uh, you had you had Spider Man, which delivered on all this shit that fans wanted, and then you had Doctor Strange, which started all these stuff beforehand, all these little leaks beforehand, all these things beforehand. We're like, it's gonna deliver, it's gonna deliver, and then it's like it, yeah, it's all it was almost like a big fuck you. They were like, oh yeah, we're gonna deliver, and then. We're gonna just kill him off. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, I get it too. I get and and Sam even came out and said that. Like, I guess Sam was like, we knew all the fans wanted John Krasinski, and we kind of were like, well, we're just gonna kill him off anyway. So fuck it, let's throw John Krasinski in there, kind of thing. Like, <laughs> um, so like they kind of planned it with the intention of fuck it, we're gonna kill him off anyway. But I think to me was you finally bring Professor Fucking Xavier over there as she just snaps his neck. Um right. On, on one hand on the other hand i do love that that actually we talked about this that it actually shows the magnitude of her power versus like wandavision and in that where it's like it wasn't quite testing that magnitude of her power so i will give it that it definitely hits wanda in her her power strength for sure uh but yeah dude um my other thing was stranger things I mean, Stranger Things season four, like I said, if you must have been living under a fucking rock, like it's the most viewed thing on Netflix right now or whatever, right? So I don't know if you saw my response to your comment, but mm-hmm. like, I really believe that's why they're just inflating number numbers is like that. Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't make any sense, just like you said. But, right, like, so, how can you, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, anyway. how can there be a billion people watch four, but not a billion people watch three or two right. or one? Like, it just right. doesn't make sense. Right. Um, um, yeah. But what yeah, Stranger Things four. What do you think, man? man? I'll, I'll tell you. I I, I think that uh, it, it delivered on all all sides for me. I know that some people are going to say that it, it might have been too many stories, uh, too many locations, and and I accept that. That's mm-hmm. I you know not for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, but in in my opinion, I I feel like uh, it's wrapping things up to the point where. I even texted Josh and was like, man, I don't, wh- wh- how did eight, you know, disappear? And I had totally right. forgotten that one talked about eight, you know, getting out of the, the, the thing out of the facility before he did what he did. Right. Um, and so like, I thought that was really cool. Like they, they're starting to tie everything together. Right. Um, uh, Max, dude, I, dude, I love. Oh the, man. The okay. Scenes with her so, and so it's like, it's like it, the ending was almost predictable in certain aspects in certain aspects um i mean if you didn't know eddie was going to be the one dying then you haven't watched right. the show you know what i mean no. i mean yeah um and and there's certain things like i said certain things that were slightly predictable but i will admit that that max threw me i had the moment that her arm snapped i we like Dude. i remember being like <gasps> fuck like because yeah and she's like oh she's shit. actually dying like, yeah, yeah um and yeah. so yeah the way they handled her and then the way they did it with l at the end where she you can't tell she's not there she's not responding you know so like that was that was brutal and it was brutal yeah. um which is crazy because i will admit that i've not given two shits about max's character until this season um i don't it's not really? that i it's not that i didn't like her i just i felt like yeah. she had trouble growing on me the way the original cast did i guess I guess I don't know. See, I'd say I'd say my two favorite characters are Eleven and Max, and then yeah. it's Dustin, Dustin and Hopper. Dustin and Henderson, dude. Dustin um, and Henderson. 
Oh, dude. Well, and I mean, here, here's the thing is that like the, the one, the one frustrating thing I have with stranger things is remember I, I texted you or I called you or something, or mm-hmm. it might've been on one of these where I was like, watch Kate Bush is going to be the most downloaded <laughs> song in America. And it just fucking blew up. Well, and, and it's just like, you know, Metallica it's, now is back too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Master of puppets. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but Eddie's character was great. I thought oh that God, the, yeah. the final scene with him was awesome. Yep. I think uh, my only Dustin complaint... talking with his yeah. uncle. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, no, go know. ahead. Yeah. No, I was just saying that Dustin's conversation with his uncle, I thought that was really meaningful, really cool. Yep. Yep. Um, you know, eleven. Uh, my, my only complaint about that last about the Eddie scene is that it was in the very first trailer, dude. It was in the yeah. very first trailer. I remember watching. So you knew it, it was coming. You, it's saying to you, like, oh, I wanted to know who the hell is shredding in the upside down. You know, that's all I want to know from that trailer is who the hell is shredding in the upside down. So the whole fucking yeah. season, I was waiting for that. And, and don't get me wrong, it delivered. It delivered. But had I not known it was coming, I think it would have been just a little bit, a little Even bit more. Better. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I still say, okay, so I have predictions for season five. I, I think that there's going to be major characters dying. Yeah, um, oh, I agree. And I think that, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? Sam? Is it Sam? Will? What's the one that, Will, there we go. Will, I think Will is either going to get powers or he's going to be, Vec, Vecna is going to take his body. I don't know, but I and, do like the fact that like they doubled back to that, that they they cut it back to him. Because you're kind of like, he kind of so, started slipping into the, his little background story still kept kind of slipping into the background. So it's like good that you're kind of bringing yeah. it back to him full circle. You know? Well, in episode four is the best episode of the entire series, in my opinion, where you have the Max running scene and fighting Vecna for the first time. But this police shootout scene between the oh two. Oh my god! You know, that entities. was the most intense. It was scene of the series, I think. Right like, of the entire series, you're like just because what? And it's, like, it, the way they shot it. It was so fucking awesome. Close. It's so close range yeah. and enclosed like that that you feel like you're like right over their shoulders. Like it was. Yeah, that was good. I remember that. I I had forgotten about that. That was insane when that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of feel like Russia was kind of lost on this point. I, 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 you know, Weirdly yeah, enough, Hopper, considering, considering you have Hopper over there, it almost feels like it wasn't part of the story though. Like they no, were in yeah, a you know, prison, but that's it. Like yeah. Russia itself didn't really have anything to do with the story. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, about that. that's the only, yeah. I mean, that's the only issue I really had with it was the whole, like I get Hopper's over there, but like, I, I think you, it's like, it's, they don't it, have, sorry they're not trying to open up another hole they're not trying to to find a way to go it's How like i think Hopper that's what they from? were doing right is there was one gate over there or something that was why they were trying to hold them off or something well but like hopper went from indiana to russia right and i'll, I'll have to go back and watch well, the last no i don't remember reason, like right oh, and what but why didn't why did then if he could do that why weren't they trying to then go back the other way yeah you know like I, send yeah. demi gorgons that way oh yeah or, or send know. soldiers yeah. that way or whatever yeah um you know i i just felt like russia was just kind of a eh. well i mean we still got one more season my biggest thing is what what the hell happened to murray and the uh the soldier guy they, they and were yeah i love murray well yeah. in the very end it shows hopper and joyce but you don't see you don't see uh hopper. murray you don't see murray and the uh the 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 Russian guy, I don't remember. Name, the guy from Game yeah. of Thrones, the faceless guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, yeah, so, I mean, overall, man, dude, nine, nine. Oh, 9. I gave it nine point five out of ten. Out of 10. Yeah, you nine point five out of ten, dude. It was solid in every aspect. I mean, it's one of those shows nitpick, that's weird because but, well, but it's like it's one of those shows that's weird because the season one, in my opinion, is still the definitive season because it's such a different tone, it's such a different season, but at the same time, it's like every season afterwards, they've managed to keep the stories solid. They've managed to so keep that is, every aspect of it good. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree a little bit. Yeah, with that's you. fine. Yeah, I, I actually I actually said this. I said, you know, season one started off here uh-huh. because, like, come to find out, when I was reading reviews of season four, there was a lot of people that didn't like season three, um, and I was like, I felt like 
season one was here and season two built on it season three built on it i felt like season, season four has tied it i felt all like together. season two was kind of stayed here with season one it wasn't until season three that i felt like it kind of started picking up for some reason i felt like season two was where it was kind of like uh, it's still okay i think that was mainly that that uh number eight episode threw me off so bad yeah um, the one where it is number eight and it's all about their little or, side yeah. quest of her one that's to join a, the that, you know what's you know what's funny is that that's the only episode of the entire series i don't like and, and it's the <laughs> only know? episode that isn't like 8.5 or above on any review yeah. site any review site you go to that's the only episode of the series that's down in like six it's like 6.0 yeah. or something. so you're not the only one uh so then in the, yeah I, in, in, dude i mean yeah i'm sorry go ahead Good. no 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 i was just i'm i i could talk about stranger things all day i know long, so i mean um, <laughs> you know. it, 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 it is definitely been good i i think my only ever complaint was that it almost feels like the actual horror aspect starts getting lost it's more of an action uh more of an action thing type now action thriller almost um like i said it felt to me like well, resident evil and resident evil hang on went from feeling horror to like action well, but 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 I will say this: Vegna's kills are horror to the core. Like that's true. That the way they death. snap up and oh, all that. Yeah, dude. that's true. Yeah, that's but, true. But I I'll agree. I agree with you. I agree with you that the upside down has become action. I, I when it feel it like used once to be it got so much shown, horror. Once it got shown yeah. and once they because that's what was about season one is you really didn't see much of it. So once well, they really and, and, brought you into it, it kind of changed. Yeah, like like. Well, but but if you think about it, they the only time you see the upside down is in it will going over there and eleven going over there in the beginning right. or in the first season, and it's right. so that's scary. I mean. Right, that's what and I mean. Now and you don't having really all these people, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now everybody's just kind no, of freely I, going back and forth and all that, and yeah, and I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, I, you're I, right. I, you're right. The techno kills that shit. No, but yeah, but yeah, I yeah. completely I see what you're saying, and I completely agree that the upside down has become much more actiony, more than horror. What it started out to be, and I, and I, and I don't I don't say that in a bad way because, like I said, they no. have managed to take that story and just keep it solid and keep it entertaining every season. So, um, yeah, all I was gonna say is like them tucked in, tucked away in the fucking background, even though even though it should be the thing that everybody is talking about and i don't understand why nobody else is fucking talking about it is the boys like i don't understand how every person oh, on this man. fucking planet is not talking mm. about this show right now oh. because i mean look i put notes for this for this episode i did stuff for obi one stranger things blah 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 we get down to the boys all i put the notes for is holy shit because like right. I from start to finish, what the fuck, man? Like dude, and 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 I texted you about this. My 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 most I know that the that I love I love this season completely, but the 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 craziest thing for me is the most obscure thing is a train story arc. Oh going my god from the it's... first second time you see him is running through that girl. Mm -hmm. I gotta go, I gotta go. Very to first now, time yeah, yeah. The, the penultimate of him talking with um blue hawk huey who oh, huey, huey has powers uh -huh. and and him huey's about to fuck him up and him going you know what you're right i am sorry i am so sorry for what i did it was so wrong mm -hmm. and huey forgiving him like the show yeah. and huey's whole meaning is a train well and, and for then, a train but... to grow Yep, and then for him to also realize after that that like you know what I'm done with Blue Hawk. I'm done with your with what you're doing. I'm not just gonna sit here and take it. I have the ability to stop you. I'm gonna fucking stop you. You yeah. know, like did you have you watched any of this episode? Oh yeah. Okay, so oh, you yeah. know what happened and with Blue so, Hawk, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wait a minute, I bro. Have you watched the newest where... episode? Yeah, it's where oh, his, he, um, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's where, um, um, it's where Soldier Boy is his dad. That's the newest one, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So the yeah, other yeah. thing, the other thing is that A Train now has Blue Blue Hawk's heart. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. a super heart yeah. for one, but of course it's fucking Blue Hawk's heart. It's his fucking <laughs> right. heart. Like again, you want to talk? Right. What the fuck storyline? Like. Yeah. Oh my God. Now um, I, I will say that me and Josh both talked about how 
hella spoilers. You know, with by how the much way. we just mentioned yeah. like everything. <laughs> yeah. But with, with how much they've been pushing hero gasm, a little bit of a letdown. Okay, the um, actual hero gasm part. On the hero gasm part, yes. hero gasm yes. part it was the episode a bit of is a amazing. But that's what everybody out there is like. Everybody out there was like, uh, I was surprised by how much I loved it because of the fact that hero gasm wasn't the part that I loved about the hero gasm episode. Like, right. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, it's seeing, seeing Homelander against Soldier Boy and then realizing that Butcher has powers and then Huey and then coming Huey in and refusing coming in. to leave too. Oh my like, god, the whole scene, the whole scene, the way it played out. I, I was like, they're I, gonna get him. They're gonna fucking get him. I haven't had, dude. Yeah, I haven't had like a, a movie moment like that since I don't since Logan when he fucking shoved a blade in that dude's head the first time. Yeah, dude, I it was it was incredible. It was intense. Mm-hmm. It was insane. And I mean, the whole show this season has just been on point man it's been insane i mean but but to be honest i i i think all this is season three right right three yeah Uh, it's it's a stranger things thing oh yeah season one oh yeah season two you forget forget last season with the whale would he go when he's inside the fucking whale in the last season yeah like he throws the whale at him right or whatever but yeah but dude mother's milk getting blasted oh my god (laughs) i need a minute (laughs) and then uh and then uh uh Dude, the, uh, the penis deep, the episode. Deep, the the penis deep trying episode. to get, uh, but the deep trying to get, uh, uh, trying to get his girl to like be in a threesome with the uh, octopus. Octopus, oh, my yeah. God. Uh, but yeah, dude, the very the, first the episode, penis, first like dude. ten fucking minutes of the first <laughs> episode. And, <Achoo>! and, <laughs> and, uh, for those who don't know, again, if you haven't watched it, again, we've been yelling all kinds of spoilers. And first, like ten minutes of the first <laughs> episode, a guy shrinks down, goes inside another guy's penis, and then sneezes. Which expands him and destroys the guy. Yeah. Um, and I remember specifically Eric Kripke, Eric Kripke actually came out and said that he wanted to do that because of the the uh, Ant Man meme uh, the, of Thanos of him going up Thanos's ass. He actually yeah. said that he wanted to do that because he wanted to do what Marvel would and all that. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's so awesome. Yeah, yeah and and I mean for anybody who. Uh, who who's a comic book fan uh, 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 an action sh- a tv show fan i mean like dude this has everything i mean, I mean and it, it's like a live action invincible almost like his yeah dad, like the only only it almost feels like omni man you know like uh like but yeah. boys and, and and the the i was always wondering okay were they gonna have homelander's son fight him because in the comic noir is a clone of him and so okay. like well, Noir isn't obviously a clone because they take his face off and dude's black. Right. So, um, okay, so how are they going to fill that void? Right. And now here, you know, finding out that Soldier Boy, that Homelander, Soldier was Boy, Soldier Boy's sperm, basically. And he's like, his dad, basically. Yeah. Uh, like, dude, dude, that's like. Are they? So look, like are Superman they finding team? out that Captain America is his dad or something, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, but are they gonna team up? That's what I'm wondering. Fight? Like, that's what I'm wondering. Like, how's this about to fucking go down? Um, I uh, dude, and then oh, what was it? Uh, you're too. What, what did Huey say? Uh, I think you need to quit smoking. Yeah, what yeah. He it? goes, uh, uh, you might want to lay off the weed, huh? He goes, you might want to gargle my ball sack. Ball sack, <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my god, I Just love him, amazing. dude. Soldier Comedy. Boy and, and Jensen Ackles has been fucking oh nailing his role. Yes. I mean, you know, I was really worried that we were gonna get Dean, and I'm no. so glad that we didn't get Dean. No, like no. we're getting so a, a completely Soldier different Boy. character. Yeah. Yep, and, and I uh, love that how Jensen is doing rel- there's a little bit of Dean in him, you can tell. A little bit, a little like bit, a, just but... a pinch of him, but like I love that he's embraced who the character is i love it you know what i mean um oh and the other thing was uh billy and huey how he found out like billy found out that if they keep doing b they're gonna die and he just didn't tell Huey. he's like no nah, fuck it let's keep yeah. going like yep yeah dude it's butcher, gonna be a crazy but, crazy last butcher, episode, man. <clears throat> butcher when he held down one arm and soldier boy shows up and huey shows up, huey shows up I that's when screaming, butcher dude. But that's when Butcher decided that Huey is all in 
Right. And he right. And there's nothing he can he do. Because he said no way. fucking way. At that point, man, he was ready to die for it. He didn't care as long as they took out Homeland. Yep. Dude. So incredible. It's great. I mean, incredible. I mean, I'd say nine point nine. I say I gave it a solid ten. I, I don't know that dude, I, I mean like, I I'm sure I could find something wrong with it, but one watch through, one sit through, by the end of it, I'm just absolutely shook almost every fucking episode. You know, I, I yeah, yeah. It's somebody was like, isn't it super graphic and super violent? And I'm like, yes, yeah. like, yeah, yes. It's also um, got a lot of bad language and sex yeah, and nudity, and boobs, and sex, and there's dicks and tits and yeah, yeah there's everything. Shit, everything. Cocaine. Oh, uh, they drops the guy yeah. in the cocaine. Of a bus, oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> so yeah yeah it, there is and that's what i fucking love about it um, yeah, i think that's amazing dude that's pretty much it for me i don't know if you had anything else specifically you want to talk There's, about bro. yep there was three other things uh oh i got some hype so, stuff but we'll cover that at the end uh well i'm i'm i well actually i'm sorry there's four other things but there's there's one that i'm going to go over that you saw as well that we both thought was just absolute garbage and that's jurassic park oh man uh, I forgot that I, I forgot Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. Uh, I, I I hate that I hate that movie so much because I, I was so hopeful. Um and it's think, just that that series seems like it's gone just one was up that, here, two was here, three's here. Like, that that was the one. Up. I sat here earlier thinking, I was like, there was a movie where they brought back original characters. It was kind of a rehash. I was like, but it wasn't as good as like all these other rehashes. Like, what the fuck was it? And it was that. It was yeah. such a letdown, bro. Yeah. So I'm so not even going to talk about it. But no. uh, oh. the other, I, I saw, yeah, I, I, I saw two uh, very good kid movies. Uh, okay. I saw Light Lightyear, which I know there's been people bashing it because Alan's not in it, but uh, yeah, I thought I did it not was see very it, but... good. Yep. Okay. I thought it was very good. I would give it a solid eight, okay, um, which is really high for me for animated movies. Um, I, I thought that the story of, um, oh, what's the bad the guy? The bad guy, name? yeah, you told me that, um, yeah. I can't remember his villain's name for some I can't reason. either. Uh, but but I, I thought the story was great. The acting was great. I loved Chris, Chris yeah. Pine. Chris Evans. Chris Evans, there we go. I Captain get all America. the Chris's, yeah, I get all the Chris's mis- mixed up. Uh, I thought he did great as Buzz. Um, I thought it was awesome. Eight out of ten. Uh, the other one was Minions uh, Rise of Gru. Oh. Uh, another another solid eight out of ten, man. Dude, um, the Minions movies, honestly, have never really been oh, bad. Dude. Like the, the no. uh, Despicable Me or Minions movies have never really been that bad. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I'd say solid eight, 8.5. Uh, really, really good kids movie with a lot of funny ass shit. Um, nice. It's a little bit short. I wish it was a little bit longer. Uh, it's only like an hour and a half, but uh, it's it's another one. It's it, anything anything with minions, anything with uh, Steve Carell. Dude, Steve Carell, to, yeah. You know, get me going. Uh, and then actually the last thing. Um, so. The movie that I have seen the most in movie theaters, I saw it 13 times. And I even saw it in uh, Chicago. And, uh, you know, I, we hold a, a special affinity. I know I do. I, I'm, I know Josh does as well. Um, because this guy gave us just so many. Uh, we wouldn't be no, here. He kind of helped grow him. up. Yeah, he helped us grow up. Yeah. And like, yeah. Yeah. And have dreams. Uh, and realize that everyday people can reach dreams. And I that's mean, why we're that's the, why the I'm definition doing of a rags to riches kind of thing. The definition of it. Yep. yep. And so this movie that I went and saw 13 times in theaters, I'm gonna try to break that record. Why, Josh? Dude. Because it was number two and number three just released its trailer. Talking to Bruce. You don't if you don't know what we're talking about, you 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 know, obviously don't know that. We're assured that we are open today. And if you plan yeah. to shift, blo- if you plan to sh- sh- shoplift, shop please let us know. Uh, that being Clerks Three. Oh um, yeah. And I am I'm actually really hyped by the trailer, dude. I, uh, I yes. think it's a very very cool idea that he is going to tell the story of how he made Clerks One. It's that is meta just as brilliant. all hell. And I love it's how even brilliant. and then even Elias is like meta. 
you know like uh yeah what i loved is uh, at one point they showcase jay holding up a bunch of these bad boys he's actually wow. holding the cabby cone ones too man so he's i've got the berserker one but he's holding up like the berserker the, the sushi boochies he's holding them on his fingers in between his fingers wait do you uh, have those at your shop uh yeah we do these are the oh, caviar I'm gold going to ones. chicago yeah I'm, oh i'm gonna have to try to see if they have them in chicago so yeah but this, uh yeah uh, Ke- dude. kevin smith uh, so so my top three movies like i'm on a desert island have never changed and i no specific order they all are because of the directors uh i love martin scorsese because of goodfellas i love mm-hmm. george romero because of dawn of the dead and i love kevin smith because of clerks mm-hmm. clerks was the first movie that i watched that i absolutely just fell head over heels with um and just just it blew me away it, it was um, because the 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 dialogue was written he, he proved that you didn't need anything more than a fucking camera and good dialogue to make a movie mm-hmm. like hey, that's really all it was like man i don't know yeah i i i admit like or i agree i am super pumped for the trailer the trailer looked really good i love that elias is all goth now um i love that like it's it's super meta like it's all about kevin it's about how he has the heart attack and all that it's about you know um but i like that they're doing it from randall's point of view too because i do think it's hilarious that if you think about it jeff allen is the only one of the crew who like doesn't like being part of the crew so i think it's funny that they're kind of making him be the one who's like the focal point of the movie now Uh, right yeah, so it, dude, it looks great. It looks great, and it looks classic. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be just as good as Clerks Two and just as good as Clerks One, you know. So, I'm and I'll have to say, man, I, I I know that there's a lot of sequels out there that are good, but I loved Clerks Two. Uh, it's oh yeah. Just so oh my so god, good. yeah. It, it was one of those and, ones where like as as amazing as the original was, it was almost like two had to be right on par with it, man. Like, it's, yeah. 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 And so I'm so hopeful and, and and I'm really hopeful because I don't know. I think we've talked about this before. I wasn't a fan of Jane Silent Bob reboot. And that's yeah. the last that's the last one. Yeah, I, 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 I was like, uh, I admit but, it was good. Um, not super, you know, not one of his best, but I admit it was I still yeah. liked it. I thought it was good. Yeah. Uh, uh, but but I'm I am really looking forward to it, man. And that's coming out this fall. Yeah, it yeah. better be it better be nationwide or i'm gonna be fucking losing my mind if i uh, no apparently he's doing another thing for it but i mean he's I don't doing know, a tour but i don't know if it's like he's gonna release it and do the tour i don't know i just or, know wait he is, is it gonna be like tour. red state i don't know is it gonna be like oh god I, yeah. now I gotta get on my phone but um like i did have a couple of hype things i forgot about that mm-hmm. things i like just trailers that i thought uh or things that are coming out within the next couple of weeks or whatever um this is gonna sound dumb but i actually think the dc's league of super pets actually looks really good there's like i do too there, dude there's john going to see Keanu reeves yeah. Reeves, Dwayne johnson like all kinds of people in it i yep. actually was, i'm yeah, going I to go see it fucking good yep um yep. and I'm then uh Black Adam, I think, looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Yep. Uh, the first trailer was pretty When's good. When's that coming out? I don't know. I don't know. No idea. But the one uh, this weekend or next weekend is Thor, Love and Thunder. Super pumped for that. Uh, you're going to go see Thor when it opens? Um, No, I probably... I was going to... Game Foster, uh, Mighty Thor. I was going to go see it Saturday, but uh, Amanda... Uh, is gonna have to have surgery on a tooth, so oh, shit. I don't know if I'll probably have the girls out here. So I've heard, uh, so I've heard that it's it's not quite as good as Ragnarok, but better than like Dark World. But anyway, uh, whoa, my other oh, and then uh, Hocus Pocus two. Did you see the trailer for Hocus Pocus two? Not a big fan of no? Hocus Pocus. Just no, just not my not my thing. Lame. That's it. Though. That's all I got. Yeah. Is there Dude, else okay. So, about? so yeah. Fathom Events and Lionsgate mm-hmm. will present Clerks Three in more than 700 U.S. movie theaters okay. for two nights for two nights only. Sweet. Tuesday, September 13th, and Thursday, September 15th. Sweet. 
September 13th and 15th are the only days that Clerks 3 will be in theaters. Fathomevents.com. Oh, yeah, sweet. sweet. That's awesome. I'm going to write that shit down now. But hey, um, I think that's that's about it. Um, there was a lot of comics, a lot of uh, other stuff. Sorry, September what, bro? There was a lot of other stuff I did. Like I said, there were comics and shit. I September just like there 13th. Was a lot of, uh, stuff that I did. I want to take up too much of time. 13th September thirteenth and fifteenth. So that's for all you listeners too. September thirteenth and fifteenth for Clerks Three. All you amazing listeners. <laughs> um, yeah, I had comics uh, stuff. I still need to catch up on certain things. I was behind on a lot of stuff, but Jesus, um, I'll bring a lot of comic stuff next time. Uh, so actually, the only other thing I wanted to talk about, bro. I know we're still talking about Clerks and all that. Uh, the only thing I wanted to talk about was the new Jabo. Yeah? Yeah. That's the new job going. Yeah, it's going well. So I just wanted to say I'm officially working in the cannabis industry at a dispensary, and I am a little <gasps> motherfucking second. The devil's lettuce? The, the devil's, devil's lettuce? lettuce? Well, devil's lettuce. Yeah. But it's been amazing, bro. It's been awesome. I get to meet all kinds of awesome people. I get to try out all kinds of awesome weed, and uh, I can't complain. So that's it. It's fun to burn. That's it for me. Is that it for you, bro? You got anything else? That's it, man. All right. Well, thank you all for listening. It was awesome to get back in here and do this again. I've been out for a little bit. So thank you all for yeah. listening. Thank you all for watching. And as always, hit us up at the socials, the cows den. I'm at the the dot cows dot den on Instagram. If you want to hit me up on there. All right, guys. Thank you again. Bye.